Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are just going to model our steel frame as you can see from here. So you will learn how you can, you know, model all the columns, the beams and the foundations as you can see from the model right here. Now I just want to request you to subscribe to my, to my channel and also like the video and further on make sure that you interact with me through the comment section. So let's go ahead and start our lesson. So what I'm going to do, I'll just go to file here and start a new project. Okay, I'll just go to new and click on project. Okay, from here, I'm just going to pick my template and I'll just pick the structural template right there and click on OK. So this is a new project. So the first thing that I'll do, make sure that you go to south there and, you know, create some levels. I'll go to structure, you know, pick on the level there. Over my case, somewhere there, click the first point and align it there and click the second point. Then I'll go on top there. I'm just I'm just placing the levels at random. I'll click the first point, second point, first point, you know, second point. Okay, then I should have the last level, the first point and the second point. Click on modify. Then from here I can rename there and I'll call it the top of foundation. Click outside and make sure that you click on OK. Then I'll maintain level one. Then from here, I'll just select on that level. Okay, three meters is fine. Select on that level. Then I want this one to be 3000 also. Select on that. Make sure this one is 3000. Click outside. So we have level one, two, three. This I'll rename to level three. As you can see from there. Click outside. Click yes. Select within there, within level 5, and rename this one to level 4, and click outside. Click on yes. Okay, I'll just delete that level on top. Click on OK. So as you can see, we have four levels, and this one for the foundation. So I'll go to level 1, just click on, under the structural plans, you can see level 1 there. Just click there, and I'll start with the, with the grids. Go to structure, you know, click on grid. Then I'll just click the first point and the second point. Okay, this is number one. And I just over, you can see that I'm able to snap like that. So this one will be roughly maybe 3,700. Click the first point, the second point. Go ahead. Again, make sure that you space them, you know, according to your design. But I'm just placing them, you know. At those dimensions, okay. Click that point and that point. Then this one, let me take it to 4,600, the first point and the second point. As you can see, snapping there. Right, so I have five. Then I'll go in the other direction. I'll just click the first point there and the second point. Click on modify and make sure that I rename this one. I want this one to be A and click outside. Okay, and I can still go back to structure, then click on grid there, snap somewhere there, and I just want to, you know, 3,900, click the first point and the second point. If I want, I can use the copy, okay, just click on copy there, okay, I can select on it, and then click on copy there, then click that point, and you can still see the dimensions there. If I want, I can type 3,500, enter there. Then I'll just, you know, place this one somewhere there and the last one. Okay, these are enough. I'll click on modify. Then I can just click one of the grids there and just drag it closer there. So I'm happy if I want to see the bubbles on both, you know, ends there, I can just select on one. Click on edit type there and, this, and just make sure that I check that box there. Click apply. Click OK. So I'm done with the... With the grids so let's go ahead and start you know you know creating you know placing our columns modeling our columns here just go to structure right there then you have the column click on the column there 
then under the properties you can pick the column that you want to to model here if it's not there just go to family okay then if i just go back go back once again go back once again you say that this is my uk library make sure that you just go to structural structural columns where is it where is it right here double click then go to steel and you can pick any column that you'd like to use so just open that one there once i open there I'll, i'm just going to pick that column there click on open then i'll just pick about three select one hold control and select those and click on open then overwrite so then i can go back to my properties and pick the column that i want to use for example i'll pick that one and once you pick the column make sure that you go here you come here remember we are on level one then i want to pick height okay then i want to go all the way up to level three okay so i can go ahead there make sure that you are at fine level of detail and you can see that once i just over my case there it's snapping i can start placing my columns okay from level one up to level three as specified okay so place that one and that one now a quicker way of placing your columns just click on at grids and make sure that you select everything from right to left like that you release your mouse and you can see the preview we have all the columns and this is the quickest way of placing your columns just click on the green check mark then click on modify you see that if i go to my 3d view right there i have my columns right there up to level three as you can see now i can just you know deactivate what you are seeing the red ones are uh, just the analytical model i'll just deactivate the analytical model then i'll change from wireframe to shaded okay as you can see from there and if i don't want to see the levels i can just type vg on my keyboard go to annotation and go to the levels and deactivate it click on apply okay then you can see that we have the columns without levels like that right let's go back to level one okay now for these columns from here okay let me just go to the 3d view of course from level one up to level three i want to extend the columns i mean from the grid one up to grid three so if i just push my model like that i'm able to select these columns okay then from here i can change the top level up to level four like that as you can see so the columns are going all the way up to level four right let me go back to level one then we have to model some columns some concrete columns for the foundation so what you do once again go to structure click on column right there then check if you have you know a concrete column for concrete column once you just have one just pick that and change your dimensions i'll just pick that one there then click on edit type there then duplicate it i'll call it 500 by 500 okay as the size of my column click ok and make sure that you change the height to 500 and the the breadth and the height to 500 okay then once you do that just click on ok again here make sure that you check we are at level one so the column is going from level one up to the top of footing so change from there to depth you can see that it automatically changes up to the top of footing then again it's just a matter of hovering your case there you're able to snap there okay you're placing your your concrete columns there again the quickest way is to go to grease there select everything from right to left like that then click on finish okay then if i just go to my 3d view you see that i have my my columns right there now let me just check my let me go to south let me check the this is too deep i have to i can still reduce this one to 1000 one meter if i want and click outside you see that it's going to update okay now let's start you know modeling our our beams i'll go to level one right here then for the beams again simple just go to the beam there okay you can go to to the families there load from there go back load the beams that you want to model if i go to british standard there okay first make sure that you go to these are structural columns for the beams 
you need to go to structural framing okay where is the structure framing right here double click and you still have still there and pick the the beam from here i'll go to that folder okay i want to pick my universal beams from here just click on open right there and you can pick the beams that you want to use i'll just pick about you know four and click on open and override from there so if i go to my properties there i can now pick the beam that i want to to use for my floor you see that it's already at that level but again if you want to place you know your beams at any level even if you've opened level one you can still pick from here but i'll maintain level one okay structural usage you can i'll maintain automatic and click on chain then from here it's just a matter of picking you know those points there just like that okay chain is picked that's why it's not stopping until i go all the way up to the end click on modify again if you want once you are within the, the beam command there you can still go to on grids there then select from right to left like that you can see that i have all my beams and click on finish if i go to my 3d view you see that i have the beams now remember i placed it at level one it was a mistake i need to place the beams on level two so what i'm going to do i'll just click on modify there just orbit like that okay then i want to select my beams just my beams as you can see from there and if i orbit you see that i've just selected the beams okay then what i'm going to do let me go to the to the properties you can see that it's level one so what i'm going to do let me just copy these beams okay i'll just go to copy to clipboard there then paste align to selected level and i want to go to level two okay then click on okay you see that i have my beams there then what i can do it's just a matter of deleting these beams if i want can again place my model like that select those beams and delete okay so if i go to the south there you can see that this is where i want to have my beams so let me go to level two and change the change this one to find level of detail so that you are able to see the beams now if you, you need some infill beams like the beam type from there i can pick let me pick a uh, this one okay as the beam then the justification center you can switch you know different justifications here center is okay for me then the layout rule fixed distance you can as well use maximum spacing i'll just use that one and specify specify 1200 as the maximum spacing now for the beam system you have automatic and sketch i'll just use automatic you see that if i hover my cursor there on this one i'm able to place my beam like that so again it's very very easy to use the beam system if i hover my cursor on the horizontal one i'm able to place those beams in the horizontal direction like that okay so once i'm done just click on modify there go to the 3d view okay and you see that i have the beams now let me just copy these beams on level this is two level three so again i can just place my model like that so select all the beams in that manner okay then copy to clipboard then click under the paste there align to selected levels that is level three and click on okay as you can see i have the beams there then i'll just select from you know left to right up to somewhere there okay i'm just moving my cursor from left to, uh, to right i'm able to select my beams so those are the beams i want to copy up to level four then i'll just go to copy to clipboard then paste there align to selected levels level four and click on there you can see that i have all my beams so as you can see we have completed our model if we go back to the you know the previous one you can see that this is the same model that we have okay so this is simple if you just want to uh, i can just change the graphics from there okay so that it looks even better if that's something that you need to do you can go ahead and do that okay and add a bit of a shadow then click on apply so that it just look, looks exactly the the way the other one is click on apply so 
In this way, you are able to create your steel model in Revit in this simple manner. So again, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you give me some comments, ask some questions, I should be able to respond to you. You can even go ahead and propose what you'd like to see in the upcoming lesson. So see you in the next lessons.